After a battle with cancer in 2016, myself, Jason, Lorraine, our daughter, Little Miss P, we sold all of our stuff and left Los Angeles to start a small one and a half acre homestead. With no farming background, we wanted to figure out how to grow our own food and live as healthy as possible and to just live a happy life as a family. It's butcher day today, guys. We're butchering uh, about 30 chickens today. I think a little bit less than that. Uh, but we have people coming in. We're also hosting a hands-on workshop today. So it's going to be a busy day putting chickens in our freezer. And also um, learning, teaching. <laughs> These are Murray's Big Red Broilers from McMurray Hatchery. And these look like, these might be our biggest birds that we've ever raised. Uh, they look, they're looking pretty big. And they're 12 weeks old. So a little bit longer than the Cornish crosses. This needs to be at 150. We're gonna let that go because we still need to get ice. Guys, if you're not a part of our member area, I'll leave a link down below. You'll be first notified when we have these hands-on workshops. The people that are coming are also part of our member area. And you could just be part of the community. You don't have to sign up for the online workshop. But we also have online workshops of processing chicken. Can you help us, Penelope? Yeah. All right. All right. We still have to feed animals. I'm gonna come back, feed the brothers. The brothers, the sisters, <laughs> our new pigs. And plus, I need to move another chicken tractor. Oh, they're pouring the ice. I need to feed the pigs and move a chicken tractor. <laughs> hey, sisters, you still sleeping? Oh, I woke you. Sorry. All right, look alive. I just poured half their feed right now, and then maybe we'll pour some more a little bit later. Fed them already. We have a chicken that won't get up over here. Come on, guy. Come on. What happened? Not sure what's wrong with that chicken. I'll have to deal with that later. So I'm just going to very gently, since they are so sharp, I'm just going to very, I mean, you really don't need much pressure. Just kind of go all, make a little circle all the way around. Here's the crop right here. If you pop it, it's gonna be good. The goal is not to. It's really hard. I'm trying to show you. Here's the breast under that fat right there. Our workshops are super small scale. Um, today we're only opened up to four people and the rain's teaching how to eviscerate a chicken. Okay, so go ahead and scoop out the lungs. Good job, Penelope. This is a tiny bird. bird. First chicken, Randy, what do you think? First chicken. Quite a process, actually. <laughs> That's a big bird. Lessons learned. When you eat it, it's going to be that much it's better. Be that much better. <laughs> cool. What's Feel that, Penelope? It. It's a crop. Feel it. You don't want to break them, but you just want to pull them out so there's some rocks in there. Yeah. Oh, it's like you got the yeah. lungs as well. How did you grab the feet? How did you get the feet? Um, you just got to sneak up on them. Okay, I got there it. There you go. You got yeah. it. Now I got them. Y'all stink. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, bud. Uh -huh. You're big. That last one I did was it was hard to do. He was big. <laughs> I mean, he was big. All right, and you put the back. Yep. 
<laughs> That's it. Bird two, Jason. That's bird two, number two. So you guys came from New Jersey? Yeah. New Jersey. Wow. You came here from New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> what? How far a drive is that? 10 hours. And you guys are doing meat chickens next week of your own? Corners cross. And then picking up another 54 Monday. Going to the hatchery. That'd be your first time? Doing chickens? Yeah, this is our first batch. Yeah. First time doing this. Yeah. And then we already committed to getting the second batch. <laughs> you got no choice now. Yeah. You're in it. I think I ramped myself up a little bit too much. Yeah. But it's not bad. It's pretty simple. Not bad. Simple. Yeah, you guys are also a huge help. But it's just different doing it hands on. Oh, yeah, for sure. So different. Cool. All right. You got chickens in there. Yep, this one's full. Yep. So Pam and Donna, you guys are sisters? Yes. Yes? Are you guys doing meat chickens at the same time? Yes. At home? Yes. yes. Together. For, and that's, is that the first time? Yes. yes. Wow. So what made you want to do the meat chickens? Um, just wanted to know where our meat was coming from, our food was coming from, and we had control over yeah. how what they were being fed and, and not and, having... Um, Drugs, antibiotics, and things like that. Just and for me, and grass fed and like you, 12 years ago, breast cancer. Yeah, I hadn't done no drinking, smoking, drugs, whatever, where it was not in the family, been tested for all of that. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to eat better food. That's great. Yeah, how's today going? Your first time. Great. <laughs> it's gone great. Yes. We'll be ready to do ours uh, when they're ready. I think we're going to be ready. Yeah. Um, it's. I feel so much better. Cool. Yeah. yeah I'm glad you guys are here. <laughs> and you guys got matching chicken aprons. Yes. We. Lorraine told me where she got hers, and I ordered one, but I must have ordered two. Two came. I said, okay, we will go try them out first. I said, oh, forget it. Here you go. <laughs> so how? Yeah. How do your spouses feel that you're doing this? Um. I'm not sure about hers, but my husband's fine with all yeah. this. He helps me, you know, like move the chickens around and everything every okay. day and feed them. And That's great. He's taking care of them <laughs> while I'm gone. So, yeah, yeah he's been helping with all of that. Mine hasn't retired the end of this month, so we'll see. Because, Laura, if he doesn't want to do something, he can go hide in his office and say he's working. <laughs> so, after June 30th, that'll be... No, you're not. Yes. Come along. Yeah, yeah. So, but he said you will. So we'll see how much he really does. So you're gonna teach him how to do it. Yes. Teach yeah. him how to do this. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. Bird number three. Number three. That's a big one. That's a big one. This one is huge, and it can feel it. You feel the weight. All right. That's the last one. All right, lunch is done. We even did a little farm tour of our one and a half acres, uh, showing them the pigs and Bernice. We're just gonna put a few out on the tables and we're gonna check them. We're all gonna inspect them and um, look for things that we might have missed when we were in a rush. So we're checking for pin feathers. <laughs> yeah, please take out the ice because once we bag them, that'll turn to water and we don't want water in the bag. Just make sure, you just want to envision it on your table. You're serving your guests and you don't want them to be like, yeah, you <laughs> want that. There's leaves in yeah. here. What's your that? How much thing that weighs? This probably, I'd say a good seven, eight pounds. <laughs> Don't want to cover the... <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Look at this big guy. This is probably one of the bigger ones. Is that the biggest one? I think so. It's six pounds, 12 ounces. So that's like Check a seven pound side. bird. There's some big ones on the other side too. Uh, Let's try this one. Six pounds, 13 ounces. All right, we have chicken here. Chicken there, feet, heart, livers, necks. Everything's been cleaned up. One thing that we are really loving, guys, is doing hands-on workshops. Didn't think we would like that, but we do. It's been an awesome experience every single time, and the folks are super nice and kind, so thank you guys for coming out. And all about just sharing the knowledge, you know? It was just folks wanting to do this at home. We have an empty chicken tractor. 
but we have a brooder full of 40 chickens, more big red broilers that we need to move out on pasture today. the grass better. We got this. We got it. Good. Or, yeah, keep going all the way. That's good. These chickens are three weeks old, but it's so hot out, we could put them on grass right now. Typically, we'd wait another week, but I can't wait. All right, it's the next day after our chicken processing workshop here on our homestead, and we need to bring these chickens in because they've been sitting out in the ice, in a cooler outside for 24 hours. We might need a new freezer again. We buy a freezer pretty much every year since we've lived here. <laughs> we got three freezers in the last five years. We have a lot of like stuff that we plan on feeding to the pigs once they get a little bit older. <laughs> so a lot of it is pig, frozen pig food. <laughs> like uh, leftovers. All right, let's weigh this one right here. Four pounds, 12 ounces. These are safe handling food instructions. And these are just kind of generic that we like to put on the things, the things, the chicken. And because they're wet, we need to wipe them off. And then I'll write how many pounds they are. Five pounds, 14. We weigh these guys really so that way we know. And maybe if we did anything different or maybe did something that we usually do and seeing just how they kind of compare to last year's or the previous batch. Three pounds, 15 ounces. This might be the smallest. I'm saving the last two big birds. This is six pounds, 13 ounces. And also we gave away seven of these chickens yesterday. I think it ended up being 25 chickens because we lost a few in the beginning. It's amazing that these chickens only took 12 weeks to butcher out. Corners crosses will take eight and a lot cheaper and a lot healthier than buying at the grocery store. If you guys want the unedited version of these chicken butcherings that we do here, um, I'll leave a link down below where you could sign up for our online workshops. And that goes from 12 different videos, 12 step-by-step -step videos of how to do this, how to take a live chicken to your freezer, plus to your dinner table. So I'll leave that link down below because certain things we just cannot show on YouTube. That's just the way it is. The average weight of all these birds, we have 18 here, and that's just these birds, not including the seven uh, we gave away, so we have a little over five pound average. But it's definitely not the smallest birds we raised. I think we had an average of like three or four pounds one year. We went from this one time to this. This yeah. was, um, I think this was last year's bird. I think this was like the very first, the very first batch that we raised. I don't know what went wrong. <laughs> That's little. And all this chicken does not even include the chicken feet, the livers, the hearts, the necks. Yeah, that's about it, that's all we keep. So we, we did not even include that. So that's a plus also. This is the big one. Seven pounds, three ounces. Wow, <laughs> seven pounds. This is even like turkey. 